Hi, I'm Joe Haley. You're watching The Joe Show. Today on The Joe Show, we have bags, and boy, do we have a lot of bags, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right to the first one. This first bag is, is kind of sizable, and I'm going to open it up, and you're probably not going to believe it, but it actually is a garment bag, and it's a little smaller than the garment bags we're probably all used to seeing, but it is sizable enough once it's opened up that it can fit a suit, sports coat, dresses, dress shirts, anything any traveling sales rep would need to take with them on a business trip. Now, if you have clients who have traveling sales reps, this would make a nice holiday gift for them. You could put the company logo on the front. I think they'd appreciate that. Now, the other thing I really like about this bag in the front zipper pocket, I'm going to remove this card. And this card has a lot of uh, useful information on it. Two things it does have is the proper way to fold a shirt. So when you fold those shirts the proper way using this card, just like the old retailers like the Gap, you'll ensure that the shirt will be less wrinkled when they get to their destination. So again, for clients who have traveling sales reps. Now, if you travel a lot and you've been in airports, you've seen a lot of business reps who have canvas briefcases. And this is a standard canvas briefcase. It's got a, a pocket in the back. And if I unclip the front, you'll see there are a lot of places to hold pens, notepads, cell phones, iPods, whatever you need. And inside, there is a padded compartment. So if you have clients that have, again, traveling sales reps, this would be nice for them. Or if you have clients just looking to reach any type of business person out there, they might enjoy this nice canvas briefcase. Now, this next bag I have looks like one of those drawstring bags, and it's not, but it does have a mesh pocket in the front, and it's got an inside pocket. But on the back, you'll see it doesn't have the drawstrings. It actually has a shoulder strap. But what I like about this, it slings over one shoulder, and if you wear it on the right side, that's cool. If you don't like it wearing on the right, you want to wear it on the left, you just attach the strap, hook it onto the other side, and it can be worn over the other shoulder. Now, it's great for high schoolers and college-age students. So if you have clients trying to target, target that market, well, then this is a great bag to use. Now, this next bag, again, is another shoulder sling bag. It only has one strap here. And in the front, there's actually a pocket here. You can put a cell phone in there. You can put an iPod in there. And in the front, there's a smaller pocket and a bigger pocket. And think of carriers that are riding around in the cities. This would be great if you have a client that is a carrier service in a big metropolitan area. They can use it, or they can actually use this as a gift to some of their clients because it ties in with the business that they do, and it gives their clients a nice bag to have. Now, we're starting to get closer to winter, but it doesn't mean you can't have a picnic. And if you have a picnic, you actually need a picnic basket. Well, this is a variation of the picnic basket. It is a picnic bag. And if I open up the front here, inside there's an insulated compartment, so you can put foods in there and you can put beverages in there. On the side, there is a holder for a bottle of wine. And, of course, if you're on a picnic, there's certain things that you're going to need, and that's in... The front section here, you got a wine bottle opener, you got wine glasses, you have plates and napkins and a cutting board. So it's great for picnic themed promotions, or it could be something if you have clients who are just looking for a little special gift for high end executives or some of their high end vendors. This would be a nice gift for them to give. Eco friendly bags, and we talk about non woven polypropylene bags a lot lately because they're very big. Now, we talk about grocery stores use them, retailers use them. What about beer and wine stores? We're in Pennsylvania here. We have LCB, liquor control board stores, where you have to get all your alcohol, and they either give you old boxes to take bottles out or they give you plastic bags. Well, why not, if you have any of these as clients, no matter what state you live in, sell them this bag here. It's non-woven polypropylene, so it's eco-friendly. It's reusable. And inside, you'll see that there's slotted compartments, so wine bottles can go in there. It's a great alternative to a plastic or paper bag. And again, it's something that they can use over and over again. So think of your beer and wine stores and any LCB stores. Now, this last bag I have for you, it is a standard backpack. It's got everything that a backpack would need a big compartment, a smaller compartment, and you're going to see right here, if you can come in close on this map, this is actually a solar panel that when the user is using it, it'll, it will absor absorb the sun's rays. And I'm going to open up, sorry, Matt, I'm going to open up a smaller pocket inside. And inside there, you can have any number of things being recharged. It actually comes with a rechargeable battery set. And it also comes with a bunch of different adapters, so you can recharge iPhones, cell phones, uh, iPods, any small electronics that is rechargeable. And the adapter that fits here, you're going to hook it up, put it in that front pouch. The wearer can wear it all over town, through campus, and because of the solar panel there, that small electronic will be charged. Well, those are all the bags I have for you today. Thanks a lot. You're watching ASI TV.